morning students today we are going to introduce unit 4 science and technology first we will start by introducing the new words the first word is technology technology means a combination of all the knowledge equipment and methods that are used in scientific or industrial work today knowing how to use modern technology is very important Essential. Essential is an adjective means very important. Uh, today, technology is essential because people use it every day. Graph. Graph is a drawing that shows how two or more sets of measurements are related to each other. The students studied a graph which showed the number of tourists who visited Cairo in different months. Focus to give all your attention to something. You should focus on your lessons. Pay attention that focus takes the proposition on. STEM schools. STEM schools are special schools which focus on developing students' ability in special subjects. These subjects are science, technology, engineering, and the math. Article is a piece of writing in a newspaper or a magazine. Expert means having very special skills. Encourage. Encourage is a verb means to make someone really like and do something. Teachers encourage their children to be better. Neat. Neat is an adjective means arranged in a careful way. You should write in a neat handwriting. Archaeologist, someone who studies ancient societies by digging up and examining what remains of their buildings, graves, and tools. I'm interested in ancient history, so I want to be an archaeologist. Now open your book, page 18, STEM schools. Today, knowing how to use modern technology is essential because people use it every day in schools, at home, and at work. It can't be easy if you don't know how to use a computer or send an email. People with many different jobs, such as teachers, engineers, and scientists, all need to understand how to use the latest technology. Students who are very good at STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and math can also help develop the technology of the future. STEM schools are special schools which focus on developing students' ability in these subjects. There are now STEM schools around the world where lessons are different to those in usual schools. Teachers encourage students to do projects where they work together to solve problems. A lesson might be about how fast a ball falls through the air, or it might be using data to make a graph. Expert teachers help the students through the projects and check the results. In Egypt, there are now STEM schools around the country, and more will be built in the future. STEM school students must be hardworking. All their lessons are in English so that they can understand and use scientific texts from around the world while they study. Experts say that there will be many more jobs in the future that need skills in STEM subjects. When they finish studying, STEM school students will be able to work in exciting jobs that will use the skills that they have learned. Which of the red words in the text mean the following? Number one, having very special skills means expert. Number two, to give all your attention to something, focus. Number three, information or facts, data. Number four, to make someone really like and do something, encourage. Number five, very important, essential. Now let's move to the grammar of this unit. In this unit, we are going to talk about expressing certainty and uncertainty.
by using the model verbs might, must, and can't. B. We can use these model verbs to say how sure we are about something. For example, we use might to say that we are not sure. The phone is ringing. It might be Aunt Mona. It means that I am not sure if it was Aunt Mona or not. So we use might be because I am not sure. If there is a lot of traffic, I might be late. I am not sure if I will be late or not. So I use might be. If there is a lot of traffic, I might be late. So we use might be when we are not sure. Number two, we use must be when we feel sure that something is true or when we feel sure about it. You must be Salma's sister. You look very similar. Here I am sure or I am certain that she is Salma's sister. So I use must be. You must be Salma's sister. So we use must be when you are sure about something. We use can't be when we feel sure something is not true. That can't be a real dinosaur. There aren't any dinosaurs on earth. It means that I am sure that it isn't a dinosaur. Because there aren't any dinosaurs on earth. So we use can't be. Now complete the sentences with might, must or can't be. Number one, that can't be Ali in uh, the street has gone away on holiday for two weeks. Number two, in this photo, everyone is wearing warm clothes. It stays very cold there. Everyone is wearing warm clothes, so it must be very cold. I'm sure that it's very cold. Number three, I am not sure what the weather will be like tomorrow. It uh, might be hot or windy because I am not sure. Number four, is this Nadia's bag? It uh, space, let's see if her books are in it. It might be because I am not sure if it's Nadia's bag or not. Number five, you have been working very hard today, mom. You must be tired. I am sure that she is tired. Number six, this Hassan's bicycle, he doesn't have one. This can't be. I am sure that it isn't his bicycle. So we use can't be. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Goodbye.